Sergio Ramos here and welcome to the channel. If it is your first time here, I teach a lot about guitars, about playing guitar, mixing, production, new videos every week. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me one of these and hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out. Okay, today, what are we doing? The good people over at Jolly Music have been teasing this. I've been really excited about it. Third iteration ng Jolly Music J-Craft strats and Telecasters nila. Pero yung nasend nila sa akin yung mga strat. And they sent me yung relict. Oops. And yung non-relict in black. I just wanted to talk about the sounds, the features, what is new and improved from the first version. I already demoed the original tele the first guitar that i ever got was through tele and i shot a video of it which you can check out over here or you can check out in the link below and i was also sent the sh1 stratocaster jcraft the very very first iteration that they did and i wanted to talk about what they did different so now that's out of the way let's talk about some specs so the jcraft series 3 stratocasters are all made from poplar the initial body wood is going to be made from poplar. Uh, both of them, thickness-wise, are 43 millimeters. The trim on both of them is a vintage six screw, which has a big block on the back now, as opposed to yung mga mumurahing china blocks, which I think is one of the main things that really set apart J-Craft from a lot of similar guitars in the price point, especially with the third iteration, they really took care of upgrading a lot of parts that initially I would upgrade if I had a guitar, but I think with this one, I'm gonna leave a lot of it on because it's maganda na eh. Standard three ply in aged white or white pickguard. Standard strat controls, pop in, pop out, tremolo arm. So what does that mean? On a standard Stratocaster, typically, naka screw yan eh. As in, kailangan mong ikutin ng ilang beses para sumabit siya. Pero dito, you just put it in and it's good to go. The neck is all maple. It has a rosewood fingerboard. We have vintage style tuners, which are aged for the relic version and unaged for the non-relic version. We have vintage jumbo size frets, which to me, because I play jumbo frets, these are closer to like a medium fret. Bone nut, which I think is a way better version than a plastic nut. Double action truss rod. And J-Craft's new and improved pickups, which I think sound really, really good. And I think that that's a great place to start with the sound. So as you heard in the intro, I used some cleans and a little bit of compression, some delay and some reverb, pero walang extra mixing, walang extra compression. It's all directly from Helix Native. I'm going to show you kung ano yung mga ginagamit ko sa loob ng Helix Native. So here we are in Helix Native. On the first guitar part, I'm using this exotic SP compressor going into a PRS Archon clean amp set very, very clean with the bright on. For this first part of guitar tones, wala mo ng compressor because I used the compressor in the track. So I just wanted to show what the guitars sounded like right from the start. At right, first, let's start with the bridge. Bridge and middle. Middle. Middle and neck. Finally, the neck. So things that I have noticed in the very, very short time of me with this guitar is that it is very, very vintage voice with a couple really interesting things. Typically, mas mababa yung output ng mga vintage pickups. And these pickups have a somewhat higher output, which is okay. It just means you need to template it a little bit differently. 
it sounds really, really good, especially, especially on the cleans and for blues. So right here, I have an Analog Man Prince of Tone from my Helix, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> And then neck and middle. With the middle pickup, you can even get Stevie Ray Vaughan type guitar tones on Pride and Joy, for example. I also found that if you roll off the tone on the neck, it gives a really nice, really warm, like jazz sound. So I've switched to the black Stratocaster now. It actually kind of sounds different. I'll do a little bit of some sound test comparisons at the very, very end of this section. Um, but for right now, I just wanted to show off the bridge with some distortion because clean bridge kind of hurts. So I have a Friedman B100 pulled up on my Helix as my amp for my distortion sound on the pickup. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So I mentioned that there is a little bit of a sound difference between these two. I wanted to illustrate what that sound difference is because something that I was actually kind of surprised that and the people over at Jolly Music were kind of surprised that is that your paint and the poly coating on your guitar actually changes the sound and it actually adds a lot of weight to the guitar. So this guitar is 7.7 .7 pounds and this guitar is 6.4. So I am going to be on position two, which is going to be Young Bridge at Young Middle, and I'm going to play something which I'm sure a lot of people will know, and especially mga titos will know. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what are my final thoughts on the S3s and what have they changed? Especially since, you know, I was one of the earlier adopters of the entire J-Craft line of instruments and I have the Tele and the Strat. The Strat is a little bit of a work in progress, but I still use the Telecaster. Number one thing that I noticed was that grabbing resonance. As soon as I was holding it, just sat it and I was tuning it, I could feel like all of the strings vibrating against my body. Second thing that I noticed is that the pickups are greatly, greatly improved. On the first iteration of J-Craft instruments, and I think they've improved on this a lot. On the Telecaster, it was a little muddy. And on the Strat, the neck and the middle matched, but they sounded kind of fake. The output of the humbucker was just, it was just way up there. These pickups all sound really, really good. Uh, I'm probably not gonna change them for a while. They definitely have their own character, which I think is really, really awesome. They're not just your typical pickups anymore. Third thing that I noticed, the hardware. They greatly, greatly improved the hardware. It doesn't feel like the China surplus hardware that it used to feel like. Again, I don't know what the newer models feel like right now. Maybe I'll do a video in the future on comparing an earlier T1 and an S1 versus a later T1 and an S1. The hardware that is on here, definitely miles ahead. Grabe, sobrang layo. Another major thing that I noticed, the sustain block. Because the sustain block is bigger, as you would guess, it has a lot more sustain. Feels really, really, really nice. And the relic job is, honestly, it's not that bad. Considering that this is a 10,000 peso guitar that's relic out of the box, that's something that I've actually never seen before in all the years that I've been playing and looking and testing guitars. That, that's kind of unique, especially at that price point. I haven't seen other brands in that competitive range, but the same attention to detail and quality as the J Craft guys have definitely put in. After I played a little bit with these instruments, I messaged the guys at J Craft and I just told them, after seeing where you guys have come from and seeing how far you've come in such a short span of time, I'm very, very proud of you guys. Honestly, this, this instrument right here, I'm proud to hold this instrument. It's for its price, especially, it's solid. It's really, really solid. And I can't thank the guys over at Jolly Music enough for sending me some of these to review. Thank you for watching this video up until this point. Make sure that you check one of these out over at one of the distributors down below. If you want to buy it, I'll leave the link down in the description. My name is Sergio Ramos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.